here in Prepping, Ohio. Apparently there is a big storm coming. And I'm not talking about politics. This is an actual storm. Uh, a hurricane, in fact. A Category 5 hurricane that at this moment is smashing the crap out of Haiti. And the last time that this kind of happened, according to the weather people, uh, this one could slam into the United States. So Haiti's down here, Florida's here, and then the rest of the, the coast. And I'm doing this backwards for you because, like, to me, Florida's over here and Haiti's out here, East Coast, whatever. Uh, so, the last time this happened, Haiti was sort of known as a complete disaster. It is an island where there's no way to get away from a storm. How do you get away from a giant, huge, however many hundreds of miles across storm coming at your less than hundred of mile wide island? You can't, uh, so you duck and cover. Anyway, that's happening as we're speaking. Today is Tuesday the 4th of October. I don't know when I'll be able to get this video up, but I just want to do this. Because there are a few days before it could get into my area or into maybe I, the end of this week. It will be in Florida and possibly up through the Carolinas. Florida is already in a state of emergency. They're already preparing. They're already banking everything that they can. And they're hunkering. I do have one friend who lives in Florida, and I really hope that if you're watching this, buddy, you're ducking and covering. This really looks like a big storm. Can't remember the name of the storm, the hurricane, whatever. I'll put it right here. Name of hurricane is coming your way, so duck and cover, buddy. Uh, where we live in southeastern Ohio, it's not, we're not really smashed by hurricanes here. Though we do get the residual fallout, I guess, from a hurricane. You know, they got the big arms that are spinning whichever way. I think it's counterclockwise. I'm sorry, clockwise. I think it's clockwise. Whichever. It, it doesn't matter. It, they spin. Uh, once they come over land, the hurricane comes over land, they lose their strength. They're not, no longer able to suck their magic demon power from the ocean and they start to reduce in strength and they're no longer as strong as they would be if they were still out over the ocean. That doesn't mean that all the moisture in the air just disappears. Uh, there's been many times when we in you know, southeastern Ohio would watch these storms slam the coastline, the eastern coastline, or come into the Gulf of Mexico, of course, uh, or, or whatever, smash into Florida and then they start to shrink but that rain and moisture still kind of kind of goes up to wherever well, these big arms there's still a lot of moisture of course and we've had torrential downpours uh, extreme flooding here from those storms so that being said if you're watching this please prepare for this I'm not saying you're going to get hit by a hurricane, but it is possible and relatively likely that there may be torrential rain. You may be flooded in, you may encounter flooded roads when you're driving, which don't ever drive through. Even though I say that, I do sometimes, and never with my kids, of course, but, you know, it's my own risk if I drive through. I don't know if the road's washed out. It could be terrible. It could be a 20-foot drop that I don't see. And, you know, that little inch of water where you can't see the road, that could be the end of you. And I think, uh, what was it, 12 inches of water moving at 6 miles an hour, I believe, can move your car off the road into the ditch where, obviously, it's deeper. And then, suddenly, your car is stopped. All that force can push your car upside down like this and... Maybe you can't get out. Take care. Be safe. Prepare for the upcoming storm. Now, preparing for this doesn't have to be don't go to the store and buy milk and bread and be one of those idiots that thinks that they're going to survive the end of the world, the apocalypse, with a gallon of milk and a couple loaves of bread. 
No, that's just dumb. Get little things here and there, things that you like to eat, that your children like to eat, that your spouse likes to eat, and put them away. It's not going to end the world. There's going to be an end to this storm. I guess unless you're in Haiti, then you can't, you know. Sorry, Haiti. For Ohio. Just get ready. It's a good time to get ready anyway. Winter's coming. We always have ice storms. We always lose power when it's incredibly cold. Thankfully, this year, the solar system, solar panel system, I hate it when people say, my solar system, but my solar panel system, solar electric system, uh, is, is sufficient to run our bare essentials. So when the power goes out this winter, we're ready. We've got generators. I do need to stock up on gasoline, more propane, more pellets for the stove, and just, you know, basic firewood, basic food, extra water. And the reason that we do water here, we live in the country, you know, it's, it, so you would think that we have awesome water. We don't. Our well is really sulfury, so we don't drink the water. Of course, we, we could boil it, and it still tastes terrible, but, you know, we're not going to die. I still don't like to cook with it, even after it's boiled, because of the taste. It, it's just horrible. So keep this stuff in mind. Uh, and if you're a smoker, it might be a good time to put back a couple cartons of cigarettes. If you're a beer drinker, same, same. If you make beer, might be a cool time right now to start a batch of beer. It takes several months to make beer. For winter prepping, that could be cool. Uh, of course, if we're smashed by a storm this coming weekend or the beginning of next week, just buy it and put it somewhere. So really, and there's, there's nothing else to say. And no, the zombies aren't coming. Don't prep with the zombies. You know. I don't know. Wouldn't it be kind of neat if there's some weird... Well, not neat, terrifying, actually. But if there was some kind of weird plague that comes out of Haiti after this that causes zombies. It's kind of funny to think about, but if it actually happens, that it would be terrifying. Okay. Anyway. Have a good one.